Hi everyone, in this video we're going to solve what's called a polynomial equation. So this is an example of a polynomial equation. So whenever you have a polynomial equation, the first thing you want to do is set it equal to zero. So we'll start by subtracting the 4 and adding the x squared to both sides. So I'll put a minus 4 here, and a minus 4 here, and a plus x squared here, and, and uh, a plus, uh, plus x squared here. Okay, so these cancel, these cancel, so let's rewrite what we have. We have 3x cubed minus 12x, then we have the plus x squared, right? You can do it in your head, right? You're, you're adding it to the other side, so if it's negative here, it'll become positive over here. So plus x squared, and then it's positive here, so if you subtract it, it'll become negative over here, so minus, minus 4, so we're here. All right, the next thing we want to do is try to factor this. As a general rule in mathematics, whenever you have four terms, the first thing you should always try is factor by grouping. It might not always work, right? But you should always at least mentally try it. So to do that, you want to think about what you can factor here. So it looks like this, we can factor out a 3x from both of these terms. So let's do that. This will be 3x. And that will leave us with, let's see, x squared, right? Because the question is, what do you multiply by this in order to get this? Well, x squared, right? Because 3x times x squared is 3x cubed, boom. Here, uh, the question becomes, what do we multiply by 3x in order to get negative 12x, negative 4? So this is minus 4. Oh, look at that. <laughs> I had not done this problem. Um, here, you, this is exactly what you have. So what do you factor out here? A 1, right? So plus 1 times x squared minus 4. And now the beauty happens, right? So now what you can do is, is you can factor out the x squared minus 4, right? So I like to put it in the front. You can put it in the back, but it just, it just looks better when you put it in the front. So you can write it like this, x squared minus 4 parentheses, and then you ask yourself, okay, what, what goes here? What do you have to multiply this by in order to get this? Well, you're missing 3x, so 3x, right? Because 3x times this is that. Then you say, what do you have to multiply by this in order to get this? Well, you're missing the 1, so just plus 1, right? Beautiful stuff. This problem has worked out so nice. This is a formula, right? This is called the difference of squares formula. It's a squared minus b squared, right? If you think back, I'll show all the steps. a squared minus b squared is a minus b, a plus b. It's one of the main formulas you learn uh, in math. It's called the difference of squares. So here your, your b is two, right? Two squared is four. So this will be x minus two, your a is x, x plus two, three x plus one equals zero. All right, so now from here we can get the answers, but I'm actually going to show the next step, which, which a lot of people um, don't don't they don't actually show it. Um, so whenever you have a product like this, and it's equal to zero, now it has to be a zero here for you to do this, right? If I have a one here, game over. You set each piece equal to zero. You can only do that, by the way, when there's a zero here. So we have. I'm going to erase this up here. So we have x minus two equals zero. Again, you can skip this step, or it's supposed to put an or, but I'll, you don't have to put it, but I'll put it x plus 2 equals 0, or 3x plus 1 equals 0. So we have these three equations. So we, here we add 2, we get 2, pretty easy. Here we subtract 2, so we get negative 2, pretty easy. Which you can kind of see from down here, right? 2 makes this 0, negative 2 makes this 0. So many people just go to the answer. Here you can subtract 1, so you get 3x equals negative 1. And then you divide by 3, and that will give us, I'll show the step, x equals negative 1 over 3. And that is the answer to our original polynomial uh, equation. I hope this video has been helpful to someone out there who's learning math. Um, until next time, take care.